So what I'm showing here is this uh, very simple um, PowerPoint slide. And um, once you have your projectors or uh, settings already uh, figured out, you go to the design tab. And here's where you can find the uh, actual settings that you want to target, uh, depending on how you've set up your projector. Uh, I've already looked up online. I have mine set up at 1080. So those were the particular um, length and um, width that I was trying to target. Another important thing is that's actually helpful is once you go to the um, insert an image um, and, and this will come in handy so you have a reference point as to where to start off uh, with your particular planes that you're trying to target. So once you've selected a good image uh, that can kind of give you a good reference point you can then put it in presentation mode and uh, ensure that your uh, image is being uh, shown as extended uh, as far as the projection side goes. And then also um, you can go on display settings or actually right click uh, to hide uh, presentation mode. So that way you can actually work on your particular project and at the same time uh, as soon as you make some kind of motion or movement uh, or add a particular shape it'll immediately show up on the extended view of the presentation. So now that we have it here um, officially in presentation mode, uh, we can go ahead and start working on our particular shapes that we're trying to target. Uh, I'm going to start in the area of the garage uh, for this particular house. And um, as you can see, the image in the back uh, shows a building um, or one of the buildings from this image that I can kind of get a reference point. And uh, the specific tool <clears throat> that'll be very helpful uh, in this tutorial is a freeform tool which will be uh, it'll come in handy to uh, basically get really key angles uh, to ensure that you're um, correctly mapping the areas that you want to project to. As you can see here I've already found a good reference point uh, in the um, top of the building uh, one of the buildings in the middle um, to find out where the particular plane that I'm trying to target here, which is in this case the garage area, uh, starts and ends. Uh, and it's a good idea to just kind of make a basic shape, um, however you want it to be seen, and then basically work off of that. And your uh, best friend here will be basically using the rotation tool, and then uh, also using the freeform tool to um, kind of uh, trace over the original shape that you already have until you actually get the shape that you're trying to target. So I now will target the uh, basically the front of the house uh, where the door area and windows are 
And now that I have the garage kind of basically set, um, I have a pretty good starting point for one of the faces or one of the planes. Uh, and then the rest is just kind of trying to get a line and again, as I did before, just a simple shape uh, in place and then using a rotation tool and then also um, uh, using the uh, arrow up and down to kind of move the shape to the area that I want to target. It's also a good idea to use multiple colors uh, so you can kind of keep uh, these areas pretty well organized. So now I will target the uh, basically the front entrance uh, of the front plane so that I can uh, project something else inside of that as well or kind of make it more uh, unique or custom. And again, uh, you just find a good, pretty good reference point, um, make a basic shape, and then also it's a good idea to change the color as well so you can kind of keep it well organized as to what is what and also be able to see it better. A good next step is to basically uh, start working on the areas that you do not want to project onto. And again, you could use your freeform tool uh, to kind of block that area up. Uh, you already know that you're working on the entire span of the um, presentation, so you know where your borders are currently at. Uh, and then the rest um, is basically just using a freeform tool uh, to kind of get rid of the areas that you don't want to basically shine or project onto. Uh, and it's a good idea to use uh, black for that or whichever color you, you see fit. Also, the uh, now darkened out areas are helpful um, because once you start placing your videos or images or uh, whatever it is you're trying to project um, onto the plane of the area that you're targeting, 
um, you want to be able to hide it so it's not kind of sloppy or, or kind of overlapping over areas that you don't want to project onto. So it's a good idea to have your um, background basically deleted and now you can kind of just bring the image forward or move it backwards or um, or try to rotate it and fit it in there as, as best as you can. And that's pretty much it. Uh, right now we'll just show a quick sample of what we have here by hitting play. And um, the rest is up to your creativity as far as how crazy you want to get with the, the actual design. Uh, this is actually my first time doing it. And uh, as you can see on some of my uh, videos in my channel, um, that's some of the examples that I have uh, that I did basically this year. Thank you for watching.